Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good whatever time it is, wherever you are. Welcome to my channel, Serious About Stars, or welcome back. Thank you for clicking on this video today. I hope it has been a great March and Pisces season for you, filled with creativity, fullness, and the best of eye-opening experiences. Last week, we had a lot of astrological conjunctions, adding a level of intensity to experiences that would have otherwise been normal. You may also have noticed that you've been more energized than usual, alongside times even of more tiredness than usual. This would attribute to the action we have been getting from Mars and Pluto. We've just had both Mars and Venus move into Aquarius and come um, into conjunction at 0 0.02 degrees Aquarius at 12 12 a.m arizona time i love to remind people that synchronistic and repeating numbers should not be deemed as a coincidence uh, I, I like personally to think of those uh, numbers as communication whether that be from angels from god from the universe whatever whatever you call it um it's special and I think that it should be given that. <laughs> anyway, Mercury also entered Pisces last week as the energy has been moving and shifting and growing and it is still continuing to move and shift and grow to transpire rapidly over the next couple of weeks here. Real quickly before we get into the two week intuitive astrology update for Monday, March 14th through Sunday, March 27th, I would like to remind you to just go ahead and click the thumbs up button if you find yourself enjoying this video. Subscribe to my channel, turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I appreciate all of the support from you guys so much and the interest um, that you have and what I have to share. So thank you. Starting out the week on Monday, the sun and the north node come into a um, harmonious uh, angle and then also Mercury and Uranus as well on Thursday, really giving us opportunities this week, um, the 14th through the 20th of March to make progress in our ability to understand ourselves and the paths that we're on. You also have the chance here to uh, shift something in your mind if that is something you are open to. We are not growing if we are not changing from time to time. Also this week, the path forward is lit for you. It is clear and bright with light if you have the willingness and the courage to look for that path because you will really only know once you are there standing at the entrance and it 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 takes it it takes that courage and that effort to come to the entrance um on friday march 18th we have a full moon in virgo what can we expect from this lunar cycle here this is the last full moon of the astrological year just before the sun begins again in Aries. You are being challenged to be strong and to have faith and be calm in the center of the storm. The universe, God, whatever it is for you, wants to prove to you how capable you are. Things may happen that prove to you that it is not as bad as you thought. It is a magical time in our existence here and we are harnessing our core strength at a spiritual, even magical level. It's a time where you become the beacon for others, the kind of beacon that you always wanted to find to help you. Now you are being that for not only yourself, but the people around you. This is a culmination point of your health, your daily routines, your work routines, organization. It is a karmic time also. So we are reaping what we have already been sowing. The full moon comes exact at 12, 17 a.m. Again, that is Arizona time. So you may have to adjust, you know, that time 
for whatever time zone that you are in. But this is very early on um, on Friday morning, so the best time to view it is Thursday night, March 17th. In retrospect, this is also a time that you could look back on and it will have been a time that was vitally important for your healing, whether that was physical, emotional, or mental. Amid any difficult changes and frustrations here, this is a time to push through. It's a time where if you have to just go through the emotions, then that is what you have to do and it will be so rewarding on the other side. There is so much beauty around the corner. On Sunday, March 30th, the sun enters Aries. This is a big deal because this marks the new astrological year, the new chapter that you are walking into. Over this second week here, we are getting our feet wet with new experiences. We are testing the water slowly but surely. It may be a lot of push and pull. There may be a lot of friction. Um, and this is better than jumping in, diving head first when you don't know how deep, safe, cold, hot the water is. You don't know what's really beneath the surface. So, but Mercury enters Aries on Sunday, March 27th. And in a way, we are only getting to know our real selves through our reactions. There may be obstacles, but the obstacles will begin to clear over time, shortly even. And I just want to give you guys the encouragement if that is something that you are needing to um, give you that push to um, uh, start the chapter that lies before you so thank you for watching this video guys be sure to give it a thumbs up and have a great day have a blessed day in the last two weeks ahead the next video will come out on saturday march 26 so do stay tuned for that and i'll see you guys then